if you have not watched dhamaka trailer please go and do that and i'm here with the filmmaker himself uh, hello sir welcome to the quint thank you uh, and uh, that was such a uh, genuine enthusiastic first sentence that i <laughs> believed it i presumed that you were telling the truth ab jo kehte ho ab sach kehte ho main jo kehti hu sach kehti hu neecha mein national award mil gaya hai aur ab you are making arya of course was a web show and now here you are making a film pressure was like too much aare mein emmy nominated hai emmy nominated hai please remember that aare is emmy nominated to pressure to aur zyada bad gaya hoga ki my god now uh, people would be having too much expectations from me what was it like the pressures are actually um things that you're dealing with no matter what whether you are uh, nominated not nominated got an award or don't get an award i think like i was saying you climb a mountain after you've climbed the mountain you have to climb down the mountain you can't go from mountain to mountain <laughs> in climbing down the mountain some things happen to you and then you have to climb up the mountain again and then you have to prepare to climb up the mountain and then you have to struggle to climb up the mountain so i think that those pressures of climbing the mountain and the problems of climbing the mountain remain no matter what you which whichever career and stage you are at of that career nobody says acha you climbed everest first time now what is the pressure of climbing every second time no no you you're climbing it again what i'm trying to say here is doesn't <clears throat> it get easier when you are already recognized with so many uh, you know people uh, are talking about your films and their nominations and you know so eas- easily you get a producer who is a no it doesn't work like that i wish i wish it could it works like that i wish that it was like that that people would be standing outside my you know the room right now there are 10 people waiting outside i you, you didn't see them <laughs> they're there waiting with money and there are 10 20 actors waiting in the lobby you didn't see them so, so many people would be saying so we want to work with you we want to work with you doesn't no, that get these are easy? conversations that you have and then those conversations various things have to happen uh, the the subject the universe has to conspire when a film happens it is a miracle because there are too many forces at work and i genuinely believe that the power to green light is not in my hands the power to green light is in the actor's hands i'm in the service of my actor my actor is the person that who basically is my voice and sometimes their own voice mm-hmm. but then the voice of the character mm-hmm. uh, and so a lot of the power over here you would think is uh, with me i'm really actually just struggling to get work done and i'm hoping that the work is something that is worth the audience's while and when you're watching it i'm hoping i'm not wasting your time mm-hmm. so when puneet and you were writing this yeah. story uh, what was it kartik was in your mind that this no you possible? know the thing is kartik and me have been talking about collaborating now on many things and we've been having many conversations it it sometimes it works out that some actors call you sometimes you call other actors sometimes you go and discuss a script that doesn't work out sometimes some other script works out mm. it's an ongoing conversation which um and i have been had conversations with some actors for years what shall we do shall we collaborate on this on this what happened was out of the many collaborations that we were thinking of kartik in fact had uh, this had come his way uh and so he mentioned it to me and then i said yeah okay let's do this but it's him who was in some ways instrumental uh in making this happen i have always found it is the actor who has to decide it's not of course the director you know is there as part of then the producer is mm-hmm. important but this is the person whether it's the uh whether it's sonam or whether it's shabana or whether it's amrutha or it's munal or it's shushmita these are people who have to say yes to it eventually because it's them who have to commit and then they also have to commit to my way of working which is a very different way of working and so i make it very clear that i work in this way and i'm hoping that you are okay with the way that i work uh and i think the great thing was that kartik said yes uh and committed to it so okay so let's talk about arya right. you know so much have been talked about it and you've got a emmy nomination but uh, so tell me how does these international uh, you know recognitions help the indian film industry or the tv industry how is it helping it helps in marketing okay <laughs> uh because sometimes what happens is that when as consumers of uh, films when you when you see that you begin to say oh really is that what that is and we ourselves have seen it whether it was the first time that satyajit ray came to our, our notice or whether it was fellini or tarkovsky or sham benegal or whoever it was that we been and or south indian cinema it's it's when you be, how do you begin to hear about the work 
And one way to get to hear about the work is when you are nominated for an international award. Because then you begin to say, oh, what was the best foreign language film? Oh, that was that foreign language film. Oh, we must look it up. And I think that, first of all, that's, what, that's how this helps it. The other thing is that certainly with Dhamaka being on Netflix, I think the idea that it's already reaching an international audience. You had said this, that, you know, the journalist part of it and the reporting part of it is just a backdrop. But I'm still going to ask you this, and this will be my last question, but please bear with me. What do you think of Indian media right now when, you know, the polarization happening and the media is uh, getting divided and it's not doing what it's supposed to do without being biased? What do you <clears> think? <throat> What is happening to India media right now? What is your opinion? Well, you know, they ask me about the state of cinema. I, who am I to answer about the state of cinema? They ask me about the state of the world. Who am I to answer about the state of anything? That is something which we are all dealing with, and that is something that we are all a part of. And I think that I certainly don't have any objectivity or any uh, authority. <laughs> but you be, can have an opinion. Uh, you see, uh, even that is something which I genuinely, uh, on most things, I am not an opinionated person. I get it. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank so you thank so you much. Yeah.